nobody stop you na 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 don't let nobody change you na 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 live your life and cast the highest vibration live your life and cast the high 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 baby live your life and cast the highest vibration guys morning how are you guys doing how was your night I want to start this vlog here from here so i'm in the bathroom now anyways guys i'm going back to ireland today today is the 15th of may 2022 so i came like two weeks ago last uh, sunday for the first i left ireland and i got to nigeria second of may so i'm getting out now back to ireland <laughs> we bless god for a successful journey i thank god for my wedding for the engagement for the wedding um, you know i came as a single lady and look at your friend she's going back as missus <laughs> look at what my husband made me to do he said i should go have nice haircuts he even dyed it but the dye has gone gone off anyway so this is how i'm going back to ireland so i'm starting the vlog now so as we go as we progress i'll be carrying you guys along till i land back in ireland by the grace of god please god so now i want to have my shower then we'll go have my breakfast then we'll start driving to the airport so my flight is at night actually it's at half eight but i have to get out of the house by 12 you don't leave us traffic all night all right so guys i'll talk to you guys later let me have my shower all right See you later. Bye. 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 Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. So here is your girl. Your girl is set to go. So it's 12 p.m. here. I don't know if you guys can see the time yet. It's 12, 12 p.m. Nigerian time. So your friend is set to go back to Ireland. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. So um, we just called a guy to help us with our luggage. So he's coming in anytime from now and then we'll be going. So I'll carry you guys along as we go. All right. So Ireland, here I come. I really bless God, guys. In 17 years, 17 years I've not been to Nigeria. Since I left the shore of Nigeria, I didn't um, visit. So when I was coming back from my marriage, I was like, oh my God, how am I going to do it? I'm glad I want to be. And I was like, okay, 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 let me just try. <laughs> but I wanted my mommy to witness my, like, my wedding. So I'm like, oh, let me just go down to Nigeria to do it. But I was afraid. But thank God, thank God, thank God. I break, I've broken the phobia. I've broken the phobia, you know. When you've not gone home for like 17 years, you become a stranger in your own country. Guys, I have a lot to juice you guys about. I'm going to do a sit down, many sit down videos, honestly. But I experienced some culture shock. You know, I was born and raised in Nigeria, but it's been a while. So I've been like, um, I've imbibed a new a new culture, a new way of life while living in Ireland. So when I came back to Nigeria two weeks ago, I was like, what, what are they doing? Why are they doing this? So I'm going to tell you guys about the culture sh uh, shock that I saw in Nigeria. All right, guys, so talk later, okay? So, yeah, it's ready to Bye. go. Your friend is ready to go. Your friend is ready. So 
just finished uh, I just finished checking in my bag now so my bags are gone my, so I only have my hand luggage with me so the plane here I come the heat eh? is from the another side so guys I'm waiting for somebody that um a friend sent somebody to me so I need to see him and unfortunately I switched off my phone. Maybe she had been trying to call him in, I don't know. So anytime. Hiya, thank you. <laughs> so guys, I'll talk to you guys later. So I'll fit. So we'll see you later. Maybe when I'm boarding. Bye. We were supposed to take off at half eight. We were supposed to leave Nigeria at half eight. But unfortunately, there was a problem with the flight. And there was nobody that addressed us. Nobody told us anything. We were just there. The door was closed. There was no AC. The AC of the um, aircraft wasn't working. So we were, you know, we were all, almost suffocating so people became like we were bearing it after one hour two hours we were there so people became so agitated we became so impatient it was it became a pandemonium you know it was it became a problem everybody everywhere like areas scattered anyways so i was afraid and later somebody went and asked them what is happening and eventually we discovered that they the aircraft had engine problems. So one of the engines, I never even knew that they have th the three different engines that flies um, an aircraft. So eventually they said one was not, um, the one that's, that helps in taking off was faulty. So, and they wanted to manage it to take us uh, to, to Istanbul. So it was a problem. People started going to collect their drinks from there, wherever they put it, juice, cook everything water we finished everything it's because it was so hot you know we couldn't breathe there was no oxygen even in the in the aircraft anymore so then we now told the the hostess is like we don't want to go with this flight anymore and they were insisting nothing happened to it anyways guys after a long period we started it's like somebody was like i don't want to go with this i have little children i don't want to lose my children i don't much i don't want my children to lose me i don't want to die please open this door they eventually opened the door and one of the hell says it was like okay now the door is open fly out because there was no step for us to come out so we became it become we started shouting again they now brought the steps so they brought the stair, stairs so they said okay whoever wants to go should go um to go out should go out so whoever wants to get out should go i said okay i quickly picked my hand luggage and i left i think three of us dropped uh came down from the aircraft but to the glory of god the thing now the aircraft now uh took off at 12 midnight from 8 30 p.m that they're supposed to have uh, uh taken off so i eventually didn't go okay so i got down from the airline and um my, my unfortunately they couldn't bring out my luggage for me so my luggage went with them to istanbul and they landed safely, thank God. So I had to add um, extra 90,000 naira 
to 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 change my ticket, which I was even happy to do. I wasn't bothered about that because when the pandemonium was going on, I texted my children, guys, be praying, be praying. I think we have a problem. The aircraft is not is not good, and the, the, the there's engine problem, and they want to fly us in it. My children was like, they were like, mom, please get up for me. So thank God, I'm so happy. So then I was like, I said, uh, they locked they locked they locked the door. They won't let us get out. They won't let. But that Sandra was like, why would they do, why would they do that? So. I didn't bother. Like I was happy paying that ninety thousand uh, naira to change my ticket the following day. So it was the following day that I now um, came to Ireland, uh, flew back to Ireland. So um, I would upload the next one. The next video that you'll be seeing will be the the second day that I traveled because I don't want this video to be too long. That is why I don't want to show that part. So keep on watching. Thank you. Oh, it's the nation. We don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. 